Good morning from our cabin at Wilderness Lodge. Uh, this is our last full day. We check out tomorrow. So I'm gonna go get us some breakfast. I mobile ordered it from Roaring Forks, which is their quick service place here. And mobile ordering is really easy if you haven't done it before. Basically, if you have the My Disney Experience app, there is a little tab where you hit mobile order and then you type in the name of the restaurant and it just gives you, it's just like looking at the menu online and you click on it and you hit add and you pay for it on the phone and then you just go and get it. Super easy. So like right now, I ordered it here while we're still in the cabin. I'm gonna start walking there and I'm gonna hit I'm here on the way there and it takes them about like five minutes to get the order together. So I'll do it about five minutes walking distance away from Roaring Forks then by the time that I get there, it should be ready for me to pick up. So let's head over. All right, it's so humid out. I keep wiping down the lens, but uh, I think we can't do much about it. I just gotta let it dry off. But I'm gonna show you guys hitting, prepare my order. And they're gonna be starting, for, starting to prepare it because I am about five minutes out. Wow, yeah, this is kind of neat looking. I feel like we're in some sort of weird, like, I don't know, Halloween movie or something. Even though it's like first thing in the morning. Do you guys hear that noise? Like, aside from the pressure washer, there's like a loop. I don't know where the speaker is, but it's... They're playing cricket noises, but there's also just cicada noises. So there's natural noises and piped-in noises. Oh, it's right here. That's pretty funny. But there's so many just natural noises already out here. Why are they piping? Well, aside from that, why are they piping in natural noises? So now all we do is we just wait for them to send us a message saying, your food is ready, come and get it. Which will probably happen pretty soon. Squirrel, how you doing? I think the pool is open now. The lifeguards are there. There's nobody in the pool right now. What time is it? It's actually 8.50, so it's not quite 9 a.m. yet. So. Uh, pool's not open just yet. It looks like they're just getting prepared doing their first initial rounds as lifeguards Testing out the slide and just making sure everything's good to go with the pool before opening it I feel like whatever noise they're piping in is like the nighttime noise even though it's not nighttime anymore. It's like crickets and uh, I heard an owl in there but Yeah, so here we are. This is Roaring Forks right here. It's a Roaring Fork. Just one singular fork. Oh This is Artist Point up here. I was like, what's this? So Artist Point, as we said yesterday, is not open. It's right above Roaring Fork. Ooh, look at how fast these clouds are moving. Uh, I did hear a natural noise just now. I heard bats, and I don't know where they are. Although, if you look up at this very top spire here, this like top of the building here, it almost looks like these little vents here are bat houses. So maybe they do kind of build in bat houses to the building to help protect with mosquitoes and other bugs. I'd be interested to be here like right at sunset when the bats would be coming out and see if they're coming out of those holes. Kind of looks like they're still doing some remodeling on this resort. You can see there's some new window stickers up there and all of the windows on this floor have no blinds on them compared to like right below it. These have window blinds or window curtains. These, these do not. I've got my order. Pretty easy. I waited a little bit longer than five minutes. I feel like if I had just put I'm here I'm ready when I left the cabin would have been fine I would have been ready by the time that I got there but it's okay next time so I guess it all depends on when you're placing your order so like I was there for the breakfast rush even though there was only like five people there it was the breakfast rush for mobile ordering so it took a little bit longer than it did yesterday when I ordered my dinner from mobile ordering at Roaring Fork the, that time it took like two minutes because nobody else was in there. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Hi. How's it going? How are you two doing? We're just hanging out. Just hanging out in the bed? Yeah, see, we were just eating and then we were just playing peekaboo with the sheets. And then we were just thinking maybe we were going to go to sleep. No. This it's little buddy. Still too, it's still too, it needs to be awake. Well, you seemed like he was getting tired. No, 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 not time for sleepies. <laughs> he goes to sleep right now and then he's gonna ruin his whole day. Oh no, you can't be tired. Not allowed to be tired, buddy. You gonna eat some breakfast? You know, some little breakfast. So this is called the Roaring Breakfast Platter. This is scrambled eggs, potato hash, which I don't think this is potato hash, this is just breakfast potatoes, right? <laughs> yeah. 
sausage and bacon and then a buttermilk bit or is a cheddar biscuit Ooh, yeah. that sounds good you see that cheddar inside of it mm -hmm. and jen decided to put hers on a plate to make it look nicer and i just turned my box into a plate <laughs> to make it not look nicer <laughs> and then looks pretty good. i got a chocolate croissant yummy yummy and then we also got just a kid's meal of Mickey waffles because you gotta have Mickey waffles when you're staying at Disney. Should we let Jackson try some Mickey waffles? Yeah. Yeah. We've been trying not to let him have sugar, but... Do those have a lot of sugar in them? Yes. The Mickey waffles? Yeah. But there's no syrup, just the waffle. Yeah, it's a Belgian waffle. It's got syrup or sugar in it. Yeah. Buddy, <laughs> what happened to all your toys? He <laughs> said, I threw them all down here and on the ground. What the heck? You want some cereal while we eat breakfast, buddy? Oh, <laughs> now you don't have any toys left. Are you enjoying your breakfast? You want to try some eggs? Want to have some Disney oh, no. eggs? You He's look like, at it? what is that? Oh, wait. Do you want Let to hold him hold it? it? Yeah. He just keeps dropping it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was like, wait. Oh, yeah. he's like, I just want cereal. Okay, that's fine. You can just have your cereal. Here comes Eggy Buddy. Here comes Eggy Buddy. Right down Eggy Buddy Lane. <laughs> You yummy, like it? Yummy eggies. I don't know if these eggs have like a whole lot of flavor. I don't know if eggs have a whole lot of flavor, but like. But these are real eggs. Like, you know yeah. how, I don't, I don't know what there's. They're called like whips. Like they're like whipped up. They're real eggs, but they're like whipped. Yeah, but these look like they're, they have a better consistency of than yeah. other eggs. Like, they were really good actually. Like this breakfast wasn't bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. And this, um, I took a bite out of it already, but this cheesy biscuit thing, good. Yeah, did you put some butter on it or no? No, because I thought we were going to save the butter for the waffles. Oh, okay. I didn't, did you? No, what did, did, did you, you spit, spit out, out your egg? You spit your whole that? eggy out. So the wonders of a staycation, we got to run home really quick because we forgot Jackson's swim diapers. You can buy them here at the resort. We just, we have a bunch that we bought at home and we're not too far away. So we're just going to run home really quick and we're going to bring all of our dirty stuff home. So we have a little less stuff to pack tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that'll Which, be nice. By the way, I'm sad because we're checking out tomorrow. I know. But uh, also, we're leaving right now. That's why we have our masks on because we're about to head outside. Let's do it. All right, like we said, quick trip. We're back at the resort now. We're going to swing by Geyser Point and get some lunch and also check on the pool. See how it looks. Maybe we'll go swimming real quick. I'd like to go over by the uh, gift shop and just have a look inside really quick. Okay. Think they got any Halloween merch in there? Oh, I hope so. I want to get him that onesie. Oh, yeah. It's the one so that I forgot nice to get him. Quiet in here. Isn't it? Oh yeah. Okay, so here's the lunchtime rush over at Whispering Canyon. I can see uh, one, two, three, four, four families. I kind of want to look at the menu. Can I look at the menu? Yeah, let's like go this? look. Because okay. I kind of want to go there for breakfast. Just tomorrow? Yeah, and, but if it's if it's like this, we can go for dinner tonight. Okay, I just want to see. I've never eaten here, I don't think. I haven't. Oh, I have. I take that back. <laughs> we came here to look for hidden Mickeys. That was the only time I've ever been here. Oh, yeah, and there's one back by the fireplace. Yeah, we couldn't find it. Remember, they have to, like, help us find it. Oh, yeah, we have to use the uh, the QR code, right? I think so, yeah. 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 So we came over here to look at the menu, and then we realized everything's online now. There's It's all contactless, so they don't... Oh, <laughs> you on this? I see. Buddy. All right. But it's a lot of delicious sounding barbecue. It's all you care to eat and it's family style. So they just bring you out like a giant plate of food. I just think the menu is really cool here because they have traditional barbecue that's like beef, chicken, pork. And then they have one skillet that's all pork. And then they have one that's land and sea. So it's like salmon and chicken and some plant-based options. And then they have one that's just all plant-based. So literally like anybody could eat here. Yeah. So that's awesome. Come on, hello. Yeah, Halloween merch. Oh, do they have it? Perfect. Mm. Oh, I like that pillow. Which one? This one? Yeah. I feel like we have the... We have the ghost, the ghost from, last from last year. Oh, you know what they do have, though? What? Lots of NBA merch. Huh. I like the... The spirit jersey's fun, and I like the ears for this year. I like this shirt. It looks like the old-style cartoons. Oh, yeah. Like, I like the little candy cauldron thing. I wonder if this was supposed to be the not-so-scary shirt, but because they're not having not-so-scary, it's just a Halloween shirt. And they have leggings. I like that they're doing leggings now. Over here in the section where you would normally get, like, your leave and stuff like that, it's just a sign of the times. They also have disposable masks over here. Oh, nice. Let's, do they... Oh, yeah, they do have little swimmers. So we didn't actually have to go all the way home. Oh, they have our diaper cream, too. That's oh. nice. Huh. This is something that I didn't ever like look at before was what kind of baby stuff they have. 
They don't have our diapers though. Not a lot of baby food available. These are just juices. This one, they've got a chicken and rice one up here. And then they've got these four right here. Pear, mango, zucchini, banana, blackberry, blueberry, oatmeal, pumpkin, banana, carrot, apple, mango, brown rice, and vanilla. I feel like he was like all of this. Yeah. I'm getting oh, some tea. I'm and I think we're gonna get a couple of onesies for him. Yeah. Ooh, we should get some Eggos. What'd you get what? Some chicken nuggets and some Eggos. Oh, yeah. We we'll just get a Stouffer's classic meatloaf. I mean, we could. I feel like I haven't seen these before. They're like nameplates? Yeah. For your desk? Welcome, foolish mortals. I like the, uh, there's a great, great big beautiful tomorrow. I like the way that it looks. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, and then if you can dream it, then you can do it. Horizons. Mm -hmm. Not Walt Disney. I heard that Walt Disney said that. He did not. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Peanut butter banana. Yeah, how are you? Birthday cake. That sounds fun. Strawberry truffle. Look at this one though. Waffle cone caramel. Yeah. I really like caramel. And you know what? Now that I'm looking at the waffle cone, maybe I don't want that. I was going to get that. Which I think one I might get the birthday cake one. You want to try that one? Yeah, why not? Okay. I would get this one if it didn't have the banana in it. The banana is kind of throwing me off. Mmm, this is exciting. Uh, I didn't say, oh, they're $5 a piece. That's a $5 candy bar. Well, and I'm going to try these because these are new. Um, Stitches Extreme Sours. So they used to have another sour candy, but this is extreme. Oh yeah, and it's like it has an actual brand up here. It's Warheads yeah. Sour Twist. So I wonder if there's like rebagged Warheads. Do you think they are? Yeah, just like Warheads brand candy in a stitch bag. Jen found this lounge fly bag. So somebody left a comment and I think they were talking about this bag in the last video when we when you went to I don't remember where you were, but you showed Animal off the Kingdom. night was it Animal Kingdom? Yeah. You showed off the nightmare before Christmas bag. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We'll go, we'll go. But somebody said I wanted to see the treat lounge fly, and I think that's oh, this one. Yeah, that's this one, and it matches this shirt too. It's really cute. Do I like they, this size. Do they have ears that match it, or are you just supposed to match it with those ears? I don't see any ears in here that match it. Right? But this is really, I like the print a lot. I always hated how stiff they were though. They're like, it's a stiff backpack. But I think that's good for like keeping your stuff safe. Here's the question. Is the arcade open? Duh, sorry, we're closed. Yeah, I kind of figured, because that's like really high touch, obviously. Yeah, they'd have to clean it a lot. Jackson, what do you see? Is it a duck? I think that's this a... is the first duck he's seen. Hello. Yeah. Are you waving at the duck? Are you waving at the duck? Say hello, Mr. Duck. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> is, it, is it running away now? I think so. I think he thought we were going to get some food. There goes the duck. Say bye, Mr. Duck. Bye bye, Mr. Duck. All right, we got our lunch now. I feel like the day is just constantly slipping away from you when you're at Disney. Yeah. Like, it's two o'clock in the afternoon now. I didn't expect it to be this late in the afternoon, but it is it's very strange. Let's see how the pool looks now. There's like two people in the pool. That's good. Oh, okay. We might be able to come back and get in the pool. I think we are definitely gonna come back. Yeah. So we're just gonna eat really quick. And we got Jackson a finger food platter. Oh yeah, we'll see if he eats it. See I if think, he likes it. I feel like he'll like it. It'll, he seems to like to try new stuff. Oh, and I don't think we said it, but I think we're gonna take Jackson in the little splash pad. So that's exciting. So here's what I got. This is the smoked turkey sandwich. This is all from Geyser Point. This is with lettuce, tomato, Granny Smith apples, red onions, and cranberry mayonnaise. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of good. This is what I was hoping for, something kind of light after eating all this kind of heavy stuff. <laughs> we got something for you too, buddy, don't worry. I got the salmon and portobello salad. So it has like quinoa, I know, um, portobello, zucchini, there's some squash in there, there's bell peppers and, uh, and mushrooms, yeah. Oh, and it's a goat's cheese dressing. So I thought that was interesting. Are you just so you hungry, know, buddy? You know what we got you, buddy? So we got him this little, it's called the finger foods plate. And it comes with apples, um, like toast, cheese, and they're supposed to be turkey. And then I thought it came with like a, an applesauce, but they gave us quinoa. Yeah, it was supposed to come with spiced apple jam. I don't think we got what we Grape tomatoes, sourdough crisp. We didn't get any of that. Yeah. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> Maybe they change it. Maybe they like ran out of turkey because they used it all on my sandwich. I think we're going to end up going back there for another meal, I think. So we'll just ask him what 
if we got something different or what. But yeah. um, I think he will like this though. Are you excited? So we're gonna we're gonna give him some big people foods. Yeah. You yeah, ready? He's so excited. And I got a side of fries this time because the fries are so good. Every time somebody gets them, I'm like, I wish I got fries. So this time I got fries. Yeah. So one thing we didn't tell you was that last night we tried to use the bubbly tub in the main room, in the main bathroom, um, and it didn't work. So we called them and they they just sent a, a person out and he found out that it, it was just unplugged. And so they had to plug it in in the utility area that we didn't have access to. So now it works. So we'll be able to use that tonight, which will be very nice. Yeah. And then I was like, we were standing out on the back patio and I could see into the, the next door neighbor's porch. There's there was nobody, like a- There's nobody staying over there though. Yeah, but I, I like, I could just see a blue hue coming from their hot tub. And I was like, well, our hot tub doesn't have a light. Where? How do I turn on the light? And so he's checking to see if it's supposed to be, he said it's supposed to come on automatically at night, like with a photo sensor oh. when it gets dark out. And so he's just gonna check and see. He's like, it might be, the, there might be a burnt out bulb. And I was like, if it's the bulb, don't worry about it. Like, it's not that important to me, mm -hmm. but it would be nice. It'd be like a neat look at night to have like a, a blue light here in the hot tub. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But right now the tub works. I'm excited for that. That's cause the tub is like, really fancy looking again the bubbles come up from the bottom yeah and it has like a wave function where I'm the bubbles go that. back and forth yeah i can't wait i did yeah. want to tell you this salad is so good yeah like this is i would come back just to eat the salad like i would just come here for lunch to eat the salad wow and the salmon that i had yesterday also very delicious this is very similar to that but it's kind of like mixed all together rather than in separate like because yesterday it was like a little side salad the little quinoa, the, the roasted vegetables, and then the salmon, whereas this is sort of just kind of like those same things, but mixed kind of all together in one. And it has this very delicious goat's cheese dressing that it's just so good. I love nice. this, yeah. And this buddy is eating his finger foods like nobody's business. Do you like your apple and your toast? He just dropped it, he's like, no. He really liked the cheese too, but I'm afraid to put it on the plate because I feel like he won't be able to pick, I'm not afraid, but I, I didn't want to put it on the plate because I don't think he can pick it it's up. It's not like a huge piece. No, it's like it's a, thin, a thin slice. So I, yeah, I'm not sure. What do you think? You want to have some more cheese? He's like, I'm trying to get this thing out of my hand right now, mom. <gasps> but I love cheese. I love cheese. Look at the way that he looks at it. He looks over at like, <gasps> get yourself someone that looks at you <laughs> like Jackson looks at cheese. What do you got on your chin there, buddy? What is, is this it? Some prunes from this morning? Probably. And then we're gonna give him some quinoa. You're gonna have some quinoa and some cheese and toast and apples. Yummy. They're also, it came with cucumbers, but I don't know. You can eat cucumber. I just need to take the skin off, I think, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Because I think this isn't a baby's meal. It's like a kid's meal. But, but we're like. Say, I'm a big boy. Once again, Geyser Point was a hit. I gotta say, I loved everything that I've eaten there. And it's, I love that it's takeaway. I love that you can eat there outside. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I love that, that you can eat where we ate last night, where we were out by the water. I love that. I love everything about Geyser Point. It's so good. If you like seafood, they have delicious, the shrimp that I had the first day, delicious. And the salmon yesterday was so, so good. And this salmon was so, so good. So if you like seafood, I would go there. Yeah. My turkey was awesome. It tasted like it was grilled over a campfire. It looked really good. Side note, they got the, the bubbly tub working and the light in the hot tub working. So they say it'll turn on on its own at nighttime now. They turned it on, we saw it working. And so it should, as soon as it gets dark, should light up blue out there. That'll be really pretty. Uh, yeah. Yay, that's good. Did you really like your lunch so much? See, I yeah. love my toast and my cheese and my apples. And I had some quinoa and that was really good. How much of it did he eat? Mm. He ate like a half a piece of cheese, maybe two apples and two pieces of toast. And then not very much of the quinoa, maybe just like two spoons of the quinoa. You wanna try some more quinoa? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so have a look at this. Like I've already opened this, but do you see the size of this box, right? And then we dump the actual candy bar out of it. What? Doesn't it look way smaller than the box? I mean, not way smaller. I mean, it's it's kind of a, a lot smaller to me. 
Like if you push this over the edge here, that's like a half an inch on either side. Oh, is it really? Yeah. My hair is all kinds of ridiculous today. Let's give this uh, birthday cake candy bar a try. Mm. <laughs> is it vanilla? No, it tastes like cake. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh. I don't know how they did that. Like the cream? The cream inside tastes like cake. That's fun. Where's the cream? Just only in the center? Mm-hmm. Doesn't oh, it taste yeah. like birthday cake? Like it tastes like there's a cake inside of it. Oh. How did they do that? Hmm. This is a magic candy bar. I feel like it's pretty good, but I think I would have liked the caramel waffle cone one better. Mm-hmm. Just me personally. Although that was good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So the plan was to go to the pool and the splash pad with Jackson, but uh, he's asleep now. He had a little nap, or he's having a nap. So what we wanted to do was show you the, uh oh. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> it's the cube, it's the fun on five sides. Um, so we wanted to open up the couch and the seat and show you all what the, uh, what the beds look like, like how they turn into beds. All right. I think that I like this part is that there's a little like reading light here for you. So if you're, oops, turn it the wrong way. If you're sitting in this chair, you got this reading light. And I don't think anybody's actually sat in this chair yet. Oh, I have. Have you? I've sat in every chair in this oh, house. Oh, this is nice. It's like oversized. Yeah, I like this. Hmm, and it's a bed? And it's a bed. Let's, okay, let's see it. Designed exclusively for Disney. Dang. Wow. Fancy. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, that's weird. It's like... Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna... Do I put this back? No, I don't think you do. I think it stays there. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it goes down. <laughs> wow. This is nice. I could sit here and... It's but... supposed to be a bed. You're supposed to sleep there. I mean, I could lay here and read a book. Oh, okay. Very bright. <laughs> that's how you read books. Yeah, I like this. So you are 6'2". Six, 6'2". Six Let's see how you fit in it. This is supposed to be on here though. Let's see here. Well, you need a pillow there. And you gotta flip this back. Oh. It... And then you flip this back. And you flip this back. Okay. Well, this is... I mean, it's, it's a little bit comfy. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Put your feet all the way out. I feel like... With a pillow here, you know? Yeah, I could totally sleep there. I can sleep here. Nice. All right, don't fall asleep. We gotta show him the couch. Candle. <laughs> wow, that was so easy. Is this the bottom? That was so nice. easy. Yeah, no, I like that. Pretty nice. I know it's made exclusively for Disney, but we should find one of those. Right? I like it. Well, this one's also exclusively made for Disney. Oh. All right, let's see. I imagine this is just like any sleeper sofa. Yeah, it's just like the whole bottom. Oh, the bottom. Wow. Oh, maybe it's... Oh, no, I'm stuck here now. Oh, no. I mean, this could fit like three or four people. That's pretty big. Oh, oh, there's definitely a bar right here. So you're literally like this. Oh, okay. Like my feet are higher than my head. That's weird. But it's not terribly uncomfortable. Yeah. I would, I would sleep here. Like I would like to sleep in a regular bed, but if I had to, I would sleep here. Okay. Yeah. Nice view of the ceiling. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna <laughs> fold you up inside of it. <laughs> no. This is some innovative couch bed technology right here. <laughs> I think I like the chair better than the couch. Yeah, now that we have this tub fixed, I wanted to show you it in action. So there's these little buttons down here. Can you push this one? I'm excited to try it. There it is. So while Jackson's napping, might as well take the time to take advantage of the hot tub and our views of Bay Lake. How are you doing? It's fantastic. It feels so nice. I wanted to show them the ambiance. We yeah, got... They have this just like music playing too. Oh yeah, so they have Aaron a... Copeland. They're pumping in some... What was it, Aaron Copeland? It's like majestic 
And then, like, we'll see monorails going by and boats. And it's amazing. This bubbles too. It was just kind of loud, so we wanted to show you without the bubbles. Yeah, and it, but it's it's also like super hot in here. Is it's it? It's like 110 degrees water. It's like bath water. It's not supposed to go higher than 104. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like 104. Okay. It is definitely hot in the hot tub. <laughs> it's a hot tub. Very relaxing, but yeah. like at the same time. Oh, monorail. No, no, it's like focused on the screen killing me. Monorail! It's really so cool to be able to see the monorails go by and the boats go by out here. This is really like the best scenery. Yeah. It's awesome. But like I said, it is a hot tub. I uh, I didn't dunk my head under. This is all just sweat. Yes, no, you did. I dunked my head <laughs> under. like, really? It is, I am sweating though. There's another monorail. They're oh. coming by so quick. Monorail! Let's see if the camera will focus on it, not the screen. Oh yeah, it did it. There it is. Monorail! There are so many monorails that have been going by today. Ooh! Oh, now it's on the screen. There it is. We did it. So as soon as Jackson wakes up, we are going to attempt a live show from the splash pad. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If you guys saw it, that means that we were successful. If you guys didn't see it, that means that we were unsuccessful. Hopefully we were able to do it. Hopefully I we just, were able to do it. I want Jackson to go to, the, I think he'll have a lot of fun at the splash pad. Yeah. So I'm very excited to try that. We brought our bathing suits this time on our very first, um, the video where we said we were taking this Disney staycation where we were saying that we were getting ready. A lot of people left comments that were like, don't forget your bathing suits. So we, we remembered our suits this time. We were very, um, made sure to remember them. We got everything now. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go in the splash pad. We're gonna go in there with him. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good time. I think it'll be, so in the splash pad, and we'll show you when we get there, but there's like a little mini slides. There's lots of little like fountain type things it just it looks very fun and very cute so i think he'll have a lot of fun yeah it was time to get out of the spicy pool oh yeah a little it's too a little too spicy for us today spicy pool <laughs> i love the music though i feel very immersed in the wilderness it was like davy crockett yeah davy davy crockett right king of the wild frontier so this this buddy is awake from his nap and he's all sunscreened up and ready to go play in the splash pad yeah heck yeah this is your first splash pad, buddy. Are you excited? Are you excited? You're not, you're not even gonna know what to do. He's, I mean, he's only ever been in the pool, so this is gonna be like a whole new thing for you. A whole new world, a new fantastic place for Jackson. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Let's go over here. Do you wanna put his hat on? <gasps> okay, let's do it. All right. All right. Okay, so... So, this is the splash pad. No, we're not gonna go down the slide. Why not? Is he? Can't even go down with me? Not even this one? I don't know. Well, we'll put him... We'll put him over here. Let him splash around. Yeah, the kitty slide isn't bad. Should we go down it while Jen is, is talking to the lifeguard really quick? I'm just gonna go. Don't tell anybody. Oh, okay, so I can't... Oh. Okay. Okay, so he can, but he can play right here? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We'll set him, set him right here in the shade. What do you think, buddy? Whoa! That was a lot of water, huh? Always takes him a second to get used to it, I think. Because he's like, this is new. What is this? His name is Jackson. And he's a baby. Whoa, there it goes again, buddy. I think Jackson likes it. It took him a second to, to get, you know, acclimated to the noise, I think. What do you still, think? There's still like a lot going on. You're okay, you're okay. Do you want to sit him on the other side where there's not any... So on the other side of the slides, we'll show you, there's not any um, of the of this water stuff going on. What are you doing, bud? Oh my goodness. Were you just exploring? Wow. What is that? Jackson, look. <gasps> Whoa. It's so interesting to see like, he's, he's experiencing stuff for the first time. Like he's never seen anything like this before. Right. And he's just like, what is that? Hi, buddy. Are you, you're glad that your dad is right next to you, huh? Are you loving it? He's just like, this is, this is okay. Yeah, I think he's finally like warmed up to yeah, being in it. Look at your little leggies. leggies. 
Look at your little leggies. It is 95 degrees outside. Not a cloud in the sky, except for over there. Don't pay attention to those clouds. But over here, not a cloud. Well, there's one right there. All right, so one cloud in the sky. All right, buddy, we're getting in a little bit deeper water now. Whoa. What do you think? How does it feel? You gonna go crawling through the water? I'm just gonna splash it. Also, Jackson's wearing his baby sunscreen. Oh, this yeah. is, we got a sun bum, a baby bum, because we like sun bum. And so we figured, why not try it with Jackson? It smells really good. Yeah. Uh, we're on our way to dinner. We're having dinner at Whispering Canyon. Mm -hmm. When we just walked through a little bit earlier, it seemed a little bit busy. So we're gonna kind of play it by ear, see how it feels in there. This will be our, like our, aside from the little bit of time at Wine Bar George, this would be our first time eating inside. Yeah. So a little bit nervous, but. I think because it's such a large room. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, because it's part of the lobby. Right. So I, that makes me feel very comfortable. And also, when we when we walked by at lunchtime, the tables were very spread apart. Right. So I think that if that's still the case, I'll feel okay. Yeah. But, yeah. But we'll see. Well, you know, this is kind of the way that the world is. You just try it by, you know, like, play it by ear. Yeah, I did. Something that's kind of funny is that, um, so Jackson, we have our magic bands on. Look at Jackson. You chewing on that magic band, buddy? Do you love it? Is that your new teething toy? I think so. So earlier we had a live show in this splash pad over here and there's music playing at the pool and our live show got hit with a copyright claim. Oh yeah. Saying like, Will I Am was playing and you can't have Will I Am playing. And there's a new beta feature on YouTube where they're gonna try to just take out the copywritten song mm -hmm. and like anything that I said should come through. So. By the time that this video goes up, that video will have had time to do its processing and let us know, did it work? I don't know. I'm not quite sure if this is, hmm, I don't know. There's like a ramp around the corner. So I feel pretty good. Everybody's really far away from each other. I think, and we're like, we're right here. Like I've got all the open air from the, the lobby right here. And there's Jackson. Yeah. So they don't have any menus that they're giving out. You just have to scan the QR code or look at the My Disney Experience. Well, I wonder if they could scan the QR code from the video. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys pause it and just show it, like show, put your phone up to the screen, you'll be able to see the menu. Yeah. And then uh, I'm getting the traditional and you're getting the pig mm -hmm. so that we can try the two different kinds. Yeah. So we that can, works. We can try like all the pork and the brisket and the chicken. Yeah. Exciting. And I'm getting all you can drink milkshake. I can't believe they have that. Right? Here's what they brought us so far. They brought us some cornbread, some coleslaw, some barbecue sauce, and some honey butter. Oh, and milkshake. And my milkshake. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, this one's called the pig platter. Got some pulled pork, some piggy wings, some ribs, sausage. Uh, what is that? Like braised pork belly. Braised pork belly, as well as some mashed potatoes, some green beans, and some corn. And then this is the traditional. So it's another thing of pulled pork, some ribs, chicken, and then there's a brisket. Oh, this is the brisket. Yeah, okay. it's, it's a mustard, a mustard barbecue. Oh. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. It looks, they both look so good. So so far we've tried the piggy wings. They're really good. Really, I want to really know good. what the uh, is it the chipotle? There's one of them had like a chipotle barbecue sauce on it. Oh, I don't know. Delicious. Yeah. I can't wait for the ribs. And I want to try that braised pork belly. Yeah. Man. Why did it take us so long to try this place? I was not really thinking that this was going to be a legit barbecue. You know, because it's like... Because it's Disney, you know? Right, like I didn't think... It tastes like we're at a barbecue restaurant. Yeah, this you is I mean? so far the best barbecue I've had at Disney. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. And I like the... So the brisket had like this mustard sauce, like this mustard-based sauce. Yeah. I love that sauce. And the brisket was really tender. Yeah, it was good. It wasn't super fatty, but it was fatty enough. You know how it needs to be fatty to give it the flavor? Yeah. But it wasn't like overly fatty, and the ribs are like fall off the bone. Like, this is good barbecue. Yeah. So far, Jackson has had potatoes and corn and some pulled pork and 
Oh, I, I gave think him, that's it. I gave him some cornbread. Oh, some cornbread? Yeah, he's really liking it. You're eating some barbecue, buddy. I, we forgot to bring his like food bib, so I had to tie oh, yeah. one of the napkins around him. It looks, it looks like, like a little like... bandit. Yeah. By the way, barbecue and chocolate milkshakes go together amazing. <laughs> like, if you're having barbecue, get a chocolate milkshake. Delicious. I did order a vanilla for my next round. I, it's kind of silly because it's like all you can drink, but I'm getting, I'm gonna have like probably just two. He like, he brought over like a teeny tiny little cup of Sprite with a giant straw in it. <laughs> Why, what happened? I think that's like, you know how they do like a shtick here? Yeah. You showing everybody? Peekaboo. 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 That little stinky butt. Where'd he go? Where's, Where's Jackson? Jackson? There he is. There he is. <laughs> Where's Jackson? Where's Jackson? Where'd he go? Peekaboo. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Where's Jackson? There he is. Are you done eating? You just want to play peekaboo now? Did you get enough barbecue? Yeah. It was your very first barbecue dinner. What did you think? Tell everybody peekaboo. Did you think it was the most delicious food ever? Pretty good? Where'd he go? Peekaboo. Oh, there he is. Do you see his eyes when he comes out? He's like, huh. He's like, what did I just do to myself? You're so funny. You're so funny. Whoa. That baby is so funny. Peekaboo. I think he's like deliriously tired. It's right. just about his bedtime. So I feel like we made a, a, like a, a sizable dent in these dishes. I didn't think that it was so much food. I thought, I'm like, we could eat this. Yeah. But it, since the pandemic, I think I need to like ramp up my food eating abilities. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm slipping. I mean, I eat a lot all the time and I wasn't able to finish this. You did more than I did. No, I don't know. <laughs> we, we ordered more brisket and pea wings. But that sauce was so good. That was my favorite barbecue sauce. That like mustard, you can see the whole grain in it. The whole grain mustard. That was a good barbecue sauce. It was kind of like vinegary, mustardy, really, really good. And then I think the piggy wing was my favorite like barbecue meat. Yeah, mine too. Peekaboo. So we are all done with dinner, but before we put Jackson down for bed, we wanted to come out here. This would be where we would go if we were going to Magic Kingdom. Like you would take this boat right here, but we can also just kind of like go out onto the dock and look at the water. Because it, it is nice. beautiful out like here. Like the breeze, it feels really great out here right now. Yeah. Calm seas. So I was talking about bats earlier in the video, and I know 100% for a fact there are bats in this. So when we were younger, we used to just come and hang out at Wilderness Lodge. I think it was towards the end of high school yeah it was either towards the end of high school or just out of high school yeah we would go play like um cart phase, phase 10 phase 10 that's what it was in the lobby yeah and it was uh really cool yeah so we were waiting for the bats to come out and we saw one come out but that was it but look at this view there's discovery island over there that used to be like a like an animal type exhibit island where you could go and learn about animals and then animal kingdom opened so they shut this one down and then over there used to be River Country, which was a water park that went into Bay Lake. Oh, uh, that's something that we didn't do on this trip. We meant we wanted to walk past the other cabins and see the. Oh Remember? yeah. Maybe we can do that tomorrow morning. Yeah. Are you ready for bed, bud? But that's where Reflections Lakeside Lodge was supposed to go, and I think that that one may have been postponed and/or canceled. So we don't know what's gonna happen. Right now, it's just like a big pile of dirt over there. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. All right, so now we're done with dinner. Jackson's asleep, give him a bath, and now he's in bed. How did you feel at dinner? I felt pretty good until the very end. They sat the table that was like directly diagonal across, like diagonal from us. Mm -hmm. And we were already, we were done with our dinner, so it was like time for us to get up and go anyway. But um, if that table had been sat the whole time, I probably wouldn't have felt as great. Right. But other than that, like, Everything was really good. Our server had the, the face shield on, had the you know mask on, of course. Everybody was, I mean, yeah, it seemed, it was good. Yeah, so it was our first time eating inside for a full meal. Mm -hmm. I felt pretty good about it, and I feel like it's a different situation than most restaurants because it's in the lobby of a hotel that's like a gigantic lobby. Yeah, so there's so much air. You're not like in a yeah. closed, stuff, you know, stuffy space. Right. It felt like pretty, and it also felt like normal. 
Right. Other than the fact that our server had like a face shield on, everything felt really normal. So that was nice. Yeah. Just to feel like normal again. So what was your ranking of meats? Oh, okay. So I would say the piggy wings, then the ribs. Okay. Then the brisket. Mm -hmm. Then the pulled pork. Okay. Then the sausage. Okay. Then the chicken I didn't actually try, um, but I still think I would put the braised pork belly at the bottom. Yeah. It wasn't great, but everything else was so good. Yeah. We got more brisket and more piggy wings. The, I just whatever that that um, barbecue sauce was was so delicious. It was like a mustard vinegar barbecue sauce. It was real good. So good. My ranking is very similar to yours. I couldn't remember all of those meats, <laughs> but I think that I switched. I didn't have the ribs up there because I don't really like ribs. They were good. That's just, I don't know why. Like I like lots of different kinds of meats, but I just don't like ribs. They're pretty messy, but like worth it. Yeah. So uh, mine were, yeah, piggy wings were first. Then I think the pulled pork was second for me and then the brisket. Okay. And then same after that. Nice. Um, but it was a, it was a good dinner. I kind of wish that we had done breakfast there, which we can still do it tomorrow. Yeah, we still can. I don't know. I think what we'll do is we might, as we're leaving, stop by and see like what the situation is. Yeah, because we don't have to check out until 11. Right. And, and technically, like we can hang out here after we check out. Not, at the, at not, the resort. Yeah, yeah, not here in the room, but like at the resort. So we could still take advantage of the restaurants, you know, here. We can still... I feel like we could probably even still hang out by the pool a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to. I think I think it's okay. Yeah. But, but you know, like we could definitely still walk around the resort a little bit. Uh, I don't know. So maybe we'll do a little bit of that before we leave. Yeah. I would like to try to get up early so that we can make the most of our time until 11. Right. But also, <laughs> like Jackson, he didn't sleep as well last night. No. So I don't know how early I'm going to get up. But we might pack tonight so that we don't have to worry about that in the morning. One thing that we did, because we had to go home to get the swim diapers, mm -hmm. we brought our dirty clothes home, so we don't have as much to pack. Yeah, we're like pretty much kind of already a little bit packed. We just have to get the baby stuff. Yeah. And he has a lot of stuff. <laughs> so the guy came and he fixed the light in the hot tub, uh, and it was it was on, it was working, and he's like, oh, it's supposed it has like a, a switch on it that it turns on at night, so do you want me to just have it turn on at night? I was like, yeah, just have it turn on at night, that'll be neat. Uh, it didn't turn on. You can kind of see in the other like cabin over there their blue light. That's their that's their hot tub That's what we're supposed to have out here, but we don't have it. It's so humid out here. The camera's all fogged up. Look at that So it's a little bit of a celebratory final night Cheersing we're gonna have some Martinelli's sparkling blush sparkling uh, Raspberry and apple juice. It's so good It's really good. So if you're looking for like a nice non-alcoholic Sparkling juice. This one is definitely one you should try. Yeah, it's like Delicious. What do you call it, like fake champagne? It's like yeah, fake Fo uh, like, like rosé, but like fosé. Fosé. So cheers to you. Cheers to this stay. Cheers to Like the baby was so good. Yeah, the food was so good. We got to see our friends. We got to be having a hot tub. We're gonna use the 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 tub, tub does the work. Jets. Yeah, yeah so that... they, they made sure that it worked today. So we're going to use that. I'm cheers. I'm very excited. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What'd you wish for? I, um, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> What'd you wish for? Are you supposed to wish? No, you're not supposed to tell anybody. No, but I like, don't think you're supposed to wish. Well, I'm going to wish. Okay. What are you wishing for? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish that we get to do another Disney stay. Oh, okay. This is so good. It's good. Yeah. I have a vanilla milkshake that I've been drinking still. <laughs> and this definitely goes with it. Does it? No. Delicious. You should make like a float. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. An excellent day, an excellent stay. We check out tomorrow. I'm so sad to leave. Yeah, it was good. It was really nice. It really was. It just felt like we were not, it didn't feel like we were at Disney. Right. Um, it didn't, it almost didn't feel like we were in Florida other than the heat. Right. But it kind of felt like we were somewhere else, like maybe in the mountains or like maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think just having the water so close and just being like surrounded by nature. I, I love this resort. It's awesome. I like this place. Yeah. I just like fell in love with the resort on this day. Yeah. 
So, all in all, it was a good day. It really yeah. was. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So because we spent so much time enjoying nature on this trip, today's organization that we would like to shine a spotlight on is the Arbor Day Foundation. The Arbor Day Foundation was founded in 1972 and is the largest nonprofit membership organization dedicated to planting trees. More than 1 million members, supporters, and partners have helped plant more than 350 million trees in neighborhoods, communities, cities, and forests throughout the world. So if you guys are interested in this organization, please have a look at the link in the description down below. You, even just talking about it with your friends and family definitely helps out and spreads the word about this organization and helps plant trees. So thank you guys for watching this video.